The circuit court judge has stepped in to strike down a portion of a controversial criminal reform law. That provision provided for no cash bail in some criminal cases. WND's Doug Wolf reports now Republicans who oppose the Safety Act in the legislature are warning the law will create a confusing legal mess come January 1st. A controversial bill, the Safety Act crime reform measure, has had Democrats and Republicans fighting since it was passed in January of 2021. Racial overtones regarding a no cash bail provision in this debate last April. We can smell it. It's a bad stench of racism coming from that side of the aisle. The no cash bail provision deals with pretrial criminal cases and is set to become law on January 1st. On Wednesday evening, a circuit court judge struck down no cash bail, saying it violates the state constitution. Last night's decision is a victory for the citizens of Illinois and specifically victims of crime and the men and women of law enforcement. Democrats are heading to the Supreme Court for an appeal. Republicans are calling for negotiations where both parties can request a delay in enacting the rest of the Safety Act until an agreement can be reached. As of right now, the judge's decision to strike down no cash bail only applies to counties that went to court. We have 54 counties that are affected by this. And we now will have, if nothing is done between now and January 1st, there will be unequal application of this law throughout the state of Illinois. We will have counties throughout the state which will have a cash bail system and counties throughout the state which will potentially not have the cash bail system or it will be eliminated. While the no cash bail part of the Safety Act was struck down, all other provisions of the act remain intact. Indicator, Doug Wolf, WAND News. The Safety Act is 764 pages long. Those opposing it argue it will hurt law enforcement and allow dangerous criminals out on the street. 